Welcome to watch Making of Disgusting. I also discuss about this uh, later with Tommy, but I'll tell first some basic stuff and what I think of this place. Name of this village is Vihanti. It is in the northern Ostrobothnia in Finland. Population is about 3000 people. The nearest town is Rahe, 35 kilometers away. I know Rahe pretty well because I lived my first 10 years there and also completed my senior high school in the late 90s. At the time I also came here time to time because the closest train station was here in Vihanti. So if I traveled by train, I had to first pick a bus, travel with the 35 kilometers to Vihanti, and then jump into train here at Vihanti's train station. And train is a common way to travel between north and south in Finland. Student gets 50% discount, even though it's still quite expensive. But everything is in Finland. Think Vihanti is quite typical Finnish village. Not very cheerful place with full of joy, but rather quite desperate yet melancholic place. Like the most places like this, Vihanti's net migration is negative. Especially the young and educated move to bigger cities. Most of them are not likely to come back. Why? The first I can come up with is how this place feels like it's dropped out from the reality. All the things the youth read from magazines and watch from TV are from another world, from the world this village is not part of. This place offers very little opportunities to pursue your dreams, unless you want to become a potato farmer. There's nothing wrong with that, it's just something that quite few people want to do. Anyways, when lots of people move away, it affects the atmosphere and how social norms generally function. You definitely meet more people against gay rights and over intolerance toward minorities here than in bigger cities. Which is of course universal phenomenon, happening all over the world in small places like this. All this make Vihan the perfect setting for the beer review episode I am shooting here right now. Small villages like this have very few things to do. One of them is, of course, drinking lots of beer. And what kind of beer people prefer to drink in Finland, especially in small villages like this? Cheap beer, of course. This is knife, puukko in Finnish. Puukko, it, it's a certain word that means certain type of this type of knife that is used for many different kind of things, especially stabbing people. So it's also a weapon and it's an important, important part of Finnish culture. I had it in this van before I shot here, so I have to have it here now as well. And this cloth I used to wipe off uh, all water and dirt from my camera. Tape is always useful in shoots. And let's look what we have here. This is construction lamp. Usually I use this as a light source, but uh, now I can't because the color temperature it produces is wrong. And this on this shoot I will use this light instead. I borrowed it from my father. He happened to be a photographer, so he had bought this for a studio shoot purposes. I'm not sure this might be from the 80s or 90s. It's really good and these are so expensive that there is no point to buy my own at the moment. And this is the tripod for this same light. You connect it here. And this one is interesting, small tripod for camera. I also borrowed it from my father. Uh, I, have, I may use it on this shoot or not. And the interesting feature on this is that you can detach head and connect it here on the on down on one of its legs. Uh, there is a place you can attach it so you can 
put a camera in interesting places. I'm not sure if I use it, but we'll see. Camera battery charger, DC adapter. I don't have electricity in this van at the moment, so I probably won't use it. This battery sucks. To runs off twos really quickly. For handheld shots, I use this. I connect camera here, script notes, scissors, and headphones that I won't probably use at this time at all. Oh, and my camera. I cannot show my camera at the moment uh, because, well, I'm shooting it with right now. So that will be really difficult. Yes, this is consumer camera, but I chose it because it has quite many useful features and manual settings, making it popular choice among indie filmmakers and shots. So if you know how to use this, you can produce really astonishing picture of it. This, even though it's consumer camera, and I bought it from Finnish eBay equivalent. In the end of 2008, I paid about 600 euros for this, and uh, this was almost like new, and uh, there was guarantee left. And uh, I have made commercial work with this as well. <laughs> I have got the money back in that way multiple times. It's PAL version, it shoots 25 progressive high definition video. I don't know if every one of you is interested in this technical stuff, so you can read the rest from the internet. When you are talking about behind it, there is one one cool thing about it. There is a train station. <laughs> so you can get the hell out of it. <laughs> it's a small village uh, making potato chips and mashed potatoes and things like that. I have seen this uh, advertisement, large advertisement on the side of the road. It says that yeah. in, in Finnish that uh, powerful villages yeah, and yeah. nice people. Yeah, powerful villages and nice people. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's so it's so ironic because <laughs> there are weak villages that are floating in debt, uh, in money problems, and uh, there are ugly people. I have one friend of mine. He, he's a very small guy and uh, even despite of that he had this tendency that especially when he was drunk he started to uh, pick a fight by just saying something really rude and nasty things by the way you, your car sucks and <laughs> st stuff like this he was uh, they always the reaction was negative and his friends <laughs> had to rescue him and took him away so that he could avoid to get beaten up <laughs> death to death, something like that. One day, I have this had this my friends here in Vihanti, and uh, and uh, this same dude, uh, we had we were in bathing in sauna here at the station, and uh, and the, a lot of people went with just towels on to the center. There was these two cars parked in front of uh, the biggest food store, and. Uh, this my friend of mine, this small guy, put his head inside uh, one car and told <laughs> that, "Do you know that this Vihanti is really shit? This really sucks ass." And the guy who was on the uh, on, uh, who was sitting on the driver's place, he was just sitting there and uh, yeah, <laughs> quite like that, yeah. <laughs> And he was like amazed that why did they react at all and why, why didn't they care at all and 
so the, for this reason i think uh, in vihanti you have to do a little bit a little bit more than that just say that vihanti sucks because i think everyone knows it already Tom is having a pee break and uh, this is our light source. There is no sun at this time of the day in Vihanti, so we had to make sun our... No, Vihanti doesn't have a son or daughter, no. Hello. What kind of experience it has been to do this video? Well, I have beer. Yeah, beer. That's what it's all about. Now it reminds me of uh, times in school. Just a bit of stop motion animation. Uh, it lasted, the ready piece lasted for, uh, I don't know, maybe three minutes. The story of Narkarinalle goes like that he takes huge, huge amount of cocaine, mm. sniffs it. And then he, he sees hallucinations. He climbs up the wall like Spider-Man to the window <laughs> where he jumps out and commits a suicide. Fun! Disgusting! Did you like this new kind of video? Please comment here, Facebook on our own website. Welcome to comment this and other things to Disgusting's discussion forum at this address. Be seeing you.